The Tucson Gem and Mineral Show has returned for the first time since 2020, bringing together thousands of buyers and vendors from all over to sell, buy, and see rare minerals, jewelry, and art. As one of the biggest gem shows in the world, the event supports businesses worldwide as many vendors prepare all year for the crowd the event attracts. I love pearls. I love um, Larimar because it comes from my country. Um, it's very soothing, kind of like nurturing, soft energy. This year's sites begin as early as January 18th and most closed last Sunday, February 13th. It's honestly one of the, the funnest like treasure hunts. You come here to buy, sell, uh, vlog, I have a YouTube channel, do everything, you know, it's really fun out here. I've been coming to Tucson now for like five or six years. For the two or three weeks that this show runs, it's super jam packed, everything is super busy and you find stuff from all over the world, you know, Brazil, Morocco, Asia, Africa, whatever. It's like all here in this one, you know, quirky uh, uh, show. Due to COVID-19, the gem show was much smaller in 2021, and it consisted mainly of American sellers as a result of travel bans. However, this year, the crowd has eagerly returned to browse any of the nearly 50 sites scattered throughout Tucson. Artist Rohit Mandenhar comes every year from Boulder, Colorado, and he says this year has been worth the wait. I've been here for many years. So we come here every year. Comparing to that one, this year is awesome. Got a chance to meet a lot of beautiful, friendly Tushan, Asianous people, and all the people around the world. Definitely, the business went really good. We have been selling a lot of product. We, we had a lot of new product this year, and we have been selling really good. And the best part? I can play during work. Reporting for UATV3, I'm Leah Burton.